Okay, so hello again. A new project for today. Do you remember this one? It's one uh, of the most cheapest solar chargers you can find. But that's amazing because it's working for more than one year. Okay, so it's rated like 60 amps. Oh, come on. Today I had a, I had an unpleasant surprise because I add another 300 watts hour of solar panels and uh, suddenly the charging uh, current turns to maybe 17, 18 amps and I may say it's getting hot like crazy because this down here, this is not a, a, a heat sink. Oh, no way, no way. This is just a piece of uh, iron or m kind of metal. I, I think it's aluminium or something anyway. So what I want to do, I have one of these real stuff. That's a heat sink. I can call it a heat sink, the heat sink. So I want to transfer this somehow over here. Now I have to open it up to see how can I do that. Maybe I will just apply some some thermal paste here and use the aluminium we already you see there it's it's fitting almost perfect maybe I'll keep this down here of course we have a better thermal uh, transfer or something uh, I have uh, this kind of uh, white stuff for for a thermic uh, transfer okay so uh, let me open it up to see what I can do. Yeah, it's time for dismantle. So we have four MOSFETs here for charging. And these are really, really, really getting hot. So they need help. They need help. Really, I really mean that. I, they really, really need help. So, I'm gonna start first with this one here. Clean everything, scrape it to the metal. Then I'll put some some thermic pads. I'll put some holes here because we, I already have these screws back here, and tied everything nice. Okay, what I want to do is to get rid of the paint. You know, this paint is an isolator somehow, uh, but in, in the same time it's it's thermic isolation too. So I'm gonna scrap the paint to with sandpaper till the metal is clean, at least in the area where the transistors are touching uh, the metal. But I'm not sure if it's... Oh! It's just a piece of iron. That's unbelievable. How can you do that? It doesn't have transfer at all. So finally I have to use this one. But I'll try to do uh, the best thermic transfer possible. Because now it needs only to transfer heat. Doesn't dissipate that. The, this big fellow here will do the job have these plastic things down here uh, a little bit work I have to fit this aluminium sink in here ah, this is very easy to do it shouldn't be a problem and I already have these holes here for screws already so all I have to do is to have the thermal paste put it here nice screws and back back uh, with the case anyway I'm really really disappointed and I couldn't I can't believe it that how to use iron for so-called 60 amps solar charger this is unbelievable so I have to use my trusty Swiss Army knife okay now it's time to have some proper 
have more pads. And now let's put the screw holes. Not good. I'll do some trick. So I don't want to destroy any of these uh, screws here already done. So I made a piece of paper like that. You see? And this will go like this over here. And now let's try to find out where the screws are. We got one here, right there. I need these ones. One, two, three, four. There, another one, another one, and the last. Ah, there we are. Yes, so there we go. I have this here. So the, this will go like this. Let me find some screws. Thermal paste. Lot of thermal paste. I don't want to waste my time on resources to have washers and all the other mumbo jumbos. Perfect. That should do the job for now. All I have to do is to use a little bit of this here. But this is thermic pads anyway. So it will do a really nice transfer. Put the screws here. Don't over twist it. This is plastic. So if you push it too much, that's why I'm using a hand screwdriver because I can feel it when it's the top of the end or how okay. There we go. There we go. Now it's looking great and I'm pretty sure it will do a really really great job. So I can't wait for tomorrow in full sunshine to see the results. Thank you for now. Have a good time and be safe. Bye bye.